Starting off my week on a Monday, I always drink a full glass of water about 5 minutes after I wake up. I get the ingredients for my detox shake, bring out the cutting board, ginger, beet, apple, pear, and lemon. Slice the beet, shave the ginger, skin the lemon, cut the pear, cut the apple, add some water and blend. A delicious start to my morning that gives me energy and makes me feel clean. Now, I always eat breakfast and for today I'm making scrambled eggs with some toppings inside. As I melt some butter, I add any vegetable I have for that day. Today it happened to be green peppers. Shake and add some extra protein. Three eggs, always mix and there you have my scrambled eggs always accompanied with a side of toast. A delicious start to my morning. Now we digest with some Joe Rogan and we start my mobility routine to get ready for a handstand and planche training day. Wrist stretch. Cobra stretch. and banded dynamic circles. End it off with some skin the cats. I start my handstand slash planche day with handstand walk ups to the wall and holding it there for some time to loosen up my shoulders and get used to that handstand alignment. After the set, it's time for assisted handstand push ups. One of my favorite shoulder strengthening exercises. I do 4 sets of 4 reps with 2 minute rest in between sets. Next up we have tuck planche holds. I started training for the planche in October and it's been a very hard start, just like anything else in life. I do 4 sets of max out holds. I follow this with another one of my favorite progressions towards the handstand push up and that's pike push ups with completely elevated hips and legs. I try to aim for 4 sets of 12 reps. I end this planche and handstand day with suedo planche push ups on the parallettes with some planche leans at the end. Then I do a max out diamond handstand hold on the wall and the wide handstand hold on the wall. Tuesday of this week turned out to be a ring workout day and I received these rings from the company Gonex. It comes with belt like strap, wooden rings and wrap tapes for that extra support. Hide is today's pre-workout of choice with about 3 fourths of a scoop mixed with water. These rings were pretty easy to install. All you needed to do was loosen up the buckle with an allen key, level them out, which was pretty easy because of the numbers on the straps, keeping you out of that guesswork that you need to do with other rings. You wrap the tape on the rings and they're ready to be used. So today on the rings, it's gonna be a front lever day. So we're starting off the workout with a max out front lever and breaking into a challenging progression. For me, it's the half lay. So break into the half lay and try to raise up from that parallel position. Four sets of this exercise with about four minute rest in between each set. It was very cold outside today, so I decided to wake up my body with some ring muscle ups. Keeping that overhand grip, extending my arms all the way out, and adding some deep ring dips into the set before breaking, I got into a tuck front lever hold. I did this about four times with two minute rest in between. I stayed at my best progression, which is the half lay, and I did negative raises like that. I followed it with some L-sit holds into reverse deadlift. A killer of an exercise for the pelvic and hip area that's very beneficial for the front lever. 
Follow this with some tuck front lever pull ups, banded front lever raises, and finish it off with full front lever pull ups with the band. We trained in Brooklyn Tank's gym since the weather is getting brutally cold. I started off the day with the tank requirements and although this is not up my alley, I still wanted to try them. So this is one tank burpee. You do two explosive push-ups into two jump squats. That counts as one burpee. So two push-ups into two squats, that's one burpee. You do this 15 times. Right after comes 15 Chester bar pull-ups and I was already gassed from those burpees so these pulls tested my muscle endurance. The goal was to get 15 pull-ups without dropping but I dropped at 14. My heart rate was pumping and right after I had to do 30 knee tuck push ups. I broke on 15 but I finished the 30. The last part of this requirement was again the 15 tank burpees. My time was around 9 minute mark but let me know what you guys get as this tests your conditioning and muscle endurance. After this requirement we decided to do some Hephaestal curls, trying to keep that overhand and engaging your core and shoulders. We did 4 sets of 10 reps with about 1 minute rest in between for a sick bicep and shoulder pump. Keeping that supinated grip, we decided to train some back lever holds, which I don't usually do so it was a good shock to the body. As you see here, I was exhausted, either from the requirements or the front lever day beforehand. Usually I could raise from that back lever but today I didn't. We moved on from these holds to mess around on the rings. Going from the ring muscle up, we decided to do some iron cross pulses for that shoulder and chest destruction. L-sit ring holds were also incorporated, ending the day off with some good ring work. Since my group has similar goals, when I get the chance to work out with people at higher and similar levels as me, I always take the opportunity. So we started with the best progression, negative, and trying to raise back up from it. As you see, the last three days have really caught up with me, and my CNS was starting to get fatigued. CNS stands for central nervous system, and it gets destroyed if you train front lever for a certain amount of time. I tried to superset this negative with some tuck pulls, but these also felt challenging. We continued with full negatives. Then, back to one of my favorite front lever exercises, the reverse deadlift on the bar. We finished off with reverse deadlift pulls and dragonflies for that core engagement. After this deadly workout, it was time to refuel and today I had to buy food from outside. So I decided to go with sushi and I always get any three rolls. Today I got spicy salmon roll, spicy tuna roll, and spicy crab meat roll with miso soup on the side. Make sure to soak it in that soy sauce if you feel that your sodium levels are depleted. I followed this meal with a Nature Valley protein bar. My next meal consisted of whitefish salad that I purchased at Costco. I usually eat this on bread which is a very satisfying snack.
My last meal of the day is going to be my favorite snack, which is mixed protein cereal. Today we have Cheerios mixed with Pops whole milk and protein sprinkled on top. We end the day off with some nice music. Fridays of this week we start the day off with my detox shake, but instead of eggs we have oatmeal. So I had about half a bowl of oats and fill the bowl with water. I microwave it for about a minute and 20 seconds. I add some frozen berries, some protein powder, and I mix it. I add my seeds of choice, which are hemp seeds and chia seeds. I then add granola for the crunch and cinnamon for the smell. I ended up at the gym again today, but of course we start off with some staple calisthenics exercises. So after my warm up, I start off with about 6 to 8 muscle ups to wake up the shoulders and chest. I superset this with assisted handstand push ups. The rest is about 3 minutes in between each exercise. I stick to my suedo push-ups with planche leans at the end. We make use of the weights so I try to do some Arnold presses and I end up at a reasonable weight of 50 pound dumbbells. I did 3 sets of 6 reps with that weight feeling very shaky since I didn't hit weights in a long time. I also decided to hit the incline bench to see where I was and 135 felt pretty comfortable so I did 155. Deciding whether or not we should do calisthenic skull crushers or tricep pull downs, I was convinced to use the weights. Completely drained, I started walking around the gym and decided to lift a hex bar, not my cup of tea. My last meal of the day was a delicious bowl from something like Chipotle called Moe's. Ending my week off strong with a calorie packed meal. Saturday ended up being a leg day and I did the leg workout that I did in the last video So make sure to check that out and Sunday became a rest day So if you guys want to see more videos like this full week routines what I do and what you guys should do Let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video Peace.